Hey everybody, on today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to walk you through how to get CoinOps X 5.0 version 5 is a live saucy edition up and running on your Eck Games Legends Arcade family of products right after this. Okay, guys, we're back. Now, obviously, for uh, obvious reasons, I can't share a direct link on where you can download the CoinOps X 5.0 build. So please don't ask in the comments because I won't be able to tell you anyway. What I usually do is whenever I download a build, build like this, I usually create a separate folder in my uh, system here. And I usually have the build downloaded to that folder. In this case, I use Torrent and had everything torrented to this folder. As you can see here, this is everything included. And it looks a little overwhelming at first. But what you're going to want to look for is that large compressed zip file that says CoinOps X Arcade Version 5 is a live saucy edition. That's the 64 gigabyte zip file right here. Just right click on it, go down to 7-zip or any other extraction tool you have. And when you select on the option to extract here, it'll create a new folder and start extracting all the data from the zip folder to the new folder. It does take about 20-25 minutes or so depending on your computer speed for this to process. Okay, while that's extracting, let's multitask. Plug in a USB into your PC, go down to the white Windows 10 search bar, start typing in the words disk management, and you'll see an option there to pop up saying creating a custom hard disk partitions. This is where we want to go. A new window is going to pop up. Let's get the USB set up while we're waiting for the uh, other build to extract. Now you want to be careful here so you don't mess up anything on your PC or things like that, but you got to find your flash drive that's plugged in, which is this particular one right here. You want to right click on it and you want to delete the entire volume. Although this is a blank 128 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra 3.0 flash drive, we want to delete that volume that was initially created. Okay, so now we want to create two partitions on this flash drive, two separate volumes. So just right click on it to say, hey, I want to create a new volume. Use this little wizard, just click on the next. The first volume is the one that's going to be the flash drive X partition itself. So we're just going to set this up to be about 16 gigabytes of data. If you put 16,384, that should get you right where you need to be. So the first partition is going to be 16 gigabytes of data. That's more than enough when it comes to running CoinOps X, Pixelcade X, uh, also downloading the pinball games and all that stuff. So that should be plenty of space. So of course, uh, it's gonna give itself a label. In this case, my computer is gonna label it as drive F, which is fine. And then when it comes to like what kind of uh, file is it gonna be, we're gonna have this formatted as FAT32. Make sure you pick that. And then after we pick uh, FAT32 and click on next, all we have to do is double check. Did we put everything in the way we wanted it to? Click on finish. It'll do a quick format of that partition. And you'll notice when it's completed, we now have our first partition right there Volume F, FAT32, 16 gigabytes, and that'll be for the flash drive X. Okay, one final step to set up our flash drive, and that's to take that unallocated space, click on New Simple Volume. We're going to create a second partition, and we're just going to use the remaining space. So go ahead and click Next, whatever the remaining space is, click Next. It'll assign it a totally different drive number, which is fine, because you want to have separate drives on this particular flash drive. And then, of course, on this one, we're going to uh, format it X fat. Make sure you pick X fat, click next, double check you did everything correctly. And if you did, click finish. It'll format and it'll set up the second partition. And once it's completed, you'll now have two healthy partitions set up on your flash drive. The first partition is going to be for the software that the arcade machine is going to install on the flash drive. The second partition is where we're going to put our CoinOps X build that we downloaded off the internet. So taking a look at the CoinOps X build on our PC, if you recall, we unzipped that very large folder and it created a new folder up here. And this folder right here, this is our entire CoinOps X 5.0 build. This is what we're gonna want to transfer over to our USB. And don't forget that the drive letter is whatever your computer assigned to that particular drive on the flash drive. So in this case, for that unallocated space, that second partition, um, it's drive E for me. So the best thing to do is use File Explorer and open up a separate window. For that particular drive, we have that right here. And then of course we have our original File Explorer window. And if you kind of snap everything side by side, this is the easiest way to, to look at it. 
So with the PC on the left, with the full CoinOps X 5.0 build, and with the thumb drive on the right, we're just going to select and highlight everything from the left drive, and we're just going to drag and drop and copy it over onto the thumb drive. So now it's going to copy everything over the entire CoinOps X 5.0 build. There's a couple of fixes, which I'll show you that we'll put in after it finishes copying over. I find it easier to go ahead and just do this part first, and then I'll show you how easy it is to do the fixes once it finishes copying. Due to the size, it's going to take some time, probably about 40 minutes or so, depending on your PC. Okay, after everything copies over, you should pretty much have all the same files mirrored on the PC as well as on the flash drive. But if you recall, when we originally downloaded CoinOps X, there were a ton of folders, right? And you'll notice that they have some fixes in here already as part of the build. You'll notice that there's some improved um, logos or images or things of that nature. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to simply find the same exact folder. It says drop these into the logo folder and all you have to do is hit replace the file that's already there and that'll swap out the old marquees or logos. This one right here says drop this into the custom folder. So we're just going to highlight it and we're going to find that particular folder and we're just going to drag it over and we're going to drop it onto the USB and you'll notice here it quickly copies over and we're just going to replace the file in the destination. There's also a third one here. We got an improved or updated video snap. So we just need to find the corresponding folder, drag, drop, boom, it's done, replace the existing one, and it's been updated on the USB. I find it easier to do it this way versus doing this before you even transfer stuff to the flash drive, but it's up to you. You could do it both ways. I just like doing it this way. So those three folders were easy, but you'll notice above the main zip file they had the main build, you'll notice that there's two smaller zip files. You're going to want a 7-zip extract here. It'll open up a new folder, and it tells you where to drag and drop these fixes. So these are new cabinet artwork for the cabinets. You just got to find the corresponding folder. It's all pretty simple. Just make sure you select everything. And once you kind of select everything, drag and drop. In this case, we got 239 improved images. When you select this, it'll say, do you want to just replace them all? And of course you say yes. And it should go through actually pretty quickly. And you'll get all your fixes put in for uh, cabinet artworks within the build. Now then again, you don't have to do all these fixes if you don't want to. From I mean, you could have just plugged this into your arcade machine already. But I do recommend you do put the fixes in. That way, the CoinOps uh, experience is the best as possible. The team did work hard on putting all these fixes together when they were discovered. Same thing here. We just got a smaller zip file right there. We're just going to extract it. After we extract uh, the data from this particular zip file, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to drag and drop and get that over onto the corresponding folder on the USB. You'll notice this, this folder also has some improved uh, cabinet artwork once you open it up that you simply have to drag and drop over into the same place as well. Replace any existing files and boom, you're done. We've hit the end of the road. Okay, we are at the final, final step of the PC. You can technically close out all the windows. You don't have to have any windows open at this point if you don't want to. So you can kind of ignore the window. I just wanted to take a look here and remember that my flash drive is flash drive uh, E on my particular PC. So in this case, we want to use the add-on X tool. If you don't have it, you need to download it to your PC. I'll have a link in the video description below. It's a quick tool to add. What you want to do here is you want to uh, open it up, you want to find your flash drive, and make sure you run your add-on X tool against this particular flash drive that's got everything that you've built on it so far. You'll select your drive, click build, and let it run. Now again, due to the size of the files as well as the speed of your PC, this could take a while, but when don't touch it, don't fiddle with it, just let it do its thing until it finishes. In my case, it took about 42 minutes to finish. As you can see right here, you will get a box telling you that it's done. If it says failed or corrupted or gives you any kind of error message, you're going to want to run the tool again. But if it says done, time to head to the arcade machine. 
Okay, folks, we're back. Now, whether you're using a Legends Gamer Pro, Legends Gamer Mini, Legends Gamer Core, Legends Connect, Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine, Legends Pinball Machine, all the steps following are going to be the same steps. Go ahead and plug in your USB stick. You'll notice up at the top right corner by the Wi-Fi icon, the USB logo pops up. Wait until it stops blinking. Wait until it's a solid image. Once it's a solid image, you can scroll over to the settings and underneath settings, go to find the Flash Drive X tile. I've covered this a lot in my channel and other videos. You might be familiar with this step. But once you find a Flash Drive X tile, it will know when you click on Format, it will know to format the first partition that you created on the computer. It will not format and copy over the second partition that has your CoinOps X build. So from here, yes, you want to click on Format. It'll format that first partition we created on the PC. Only takes a second. We can click on Dismiss. Now from here, you got to click on the Mount button. This will activate the USB on the arcade platform, no matter which particular device you're using. And it'll say mounting success. Now from here, if you're logged into ArcadeNet, when you back out of here, hit B to back and head over to the App Store X, provided that you're logged into your ArcadeNet, you'll see all the different things that you can download and have installed onto that Flash Drive X first partition. So for instance, I've entered a redemption code. I can install all the Zacharia pinball games. I can install Pixelcade X for running my Pixelcade uh, marquee, as well as CoinOps X. And this is the one we're looking for is CoinOps X. We simply click on it, click on A again. It says, do you want to install this on that first partition? The answer is yes. It tells you how much space it takes up. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It only takes a second to go through. And from here, you can go ahead and launch the application or close out. Now, what I would suggest doing is power off your machine, power your machine back on. That way you don't get an error message. I noticed that the first time I did this on the latest firmwares, I got an error message saying that CoinOps X could not be found on my USB. I simply powered off my machine and powered it back on and it, and it then was discovered. You'll see here, that's the error message I got. So I unplugged my USB, powered off my machine, powered my machine back on, and launched CoinOps X, and guess what happened? Alive. That's right, just like Johnny Five in Short Circuit, it came alive. So guys, if uh, you get that error message, just power off, power on, give it another shot, should go through. Any other issues, need of support, Reach out to the folks on the CoinOps Discord for any kind of support on this particular build. But as you can see, uh, once you get that splash screen video plays, you just hit the start button to get into the build. And from here, you can check out the thousands and thousands of games you now have available to play on all of your At Games Legends arcade family of products. Again, these are the same steps you follow, whether it's the Gamer Pro, Gamer Mini, uh, Legends Ultimate Arcade Machines, the Pinball Machine, etc. When it comes to the Gamer Pros or Gamer Minis, because we're using a single drive, you can just plug that into the USB port and then use a Bluetooth uh, to uh, connect to your core and run your uh, arcade stick that way. Or you could use a USB hub, and that way you could have the CoinOps X USB inside of a hub as well as a USB cable if you wanted to hardwire your connection from your Gamer Mini or your Gamer Pro to that Gamer Core hockey puck. So there you guys go, guys. That's how you get everything up and running. The CoinOps X 5.0 has a lot of cool upgrades to it. There's tons of different playlists and categories to choose from. And due to the length of this tutorial video, I'll have a quick follow-up video posted separately showing you all the different categories and things that the CoinOps X folks uh, have done when putting this together. Special shout out to that community for making our Legends Arcade family experience that much better. You guys did great. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, let me know. Give me your comments, feedback below. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. I'll have another video coming out soon, walking you through all these categories and stuff. And as always, thank you for subscribing.